What's up, my name is Technumber here for Troubleshoot and in today's video I'm going to be taking you through Adobe Audition where we'll be removing long silences from an audio clip. We'll be taking out the long silences and either deleting them completely or shortening them to a specified length. Over here I have an audio file that I'll simply drag and drop into my Adobe Audition. Zooming in quite a bit, you can see these large gaps of silence. This one here is about 20 seconds, there's one here of about 3 seconds, and these are spread throughout the entire recording. These are going to be incredibly annoying to remove manually, especially because the recording is about half an hour. So all that you have to do is simply open up the Diagnostics window. If you don't see this, at the very top, head across to Window, and then make sure you tick the Diagnostic option. Then when the small little window over here opens up, we'll be entering some info. So, Effect, I'll choose Delete Silence. Then Preset, it'll usually be default, but I've got my own one over here that I'll guide you through in just a moment. If we click Scan, it'll scan through the audio and look for long portions of silence to remove. You can see that there's quite a few here. If I click Delete All, you can see that it goes through the entire recording, and after the program decides to uncrash when it's done processing, you'll see that all of the silence has been removed, and now it's just one constant long file of just me speaking with absolutely no breaks through it. It can be incredibly off-putting to listen to the actual audio file itself. That's the entire description it gives. Very helpful. It's trees, grass, etc, etc. Lowering this will help FPS in, in areas that have it. So of course it's a bit distracting to have silences that are too short. So I'll hit Ctrl Z to undo everything here. And after the program decides to uncrash once again, we'll continue to edit our settings. Now of course, if that was what you were going for, congratulations, you've already finished this video. If you want more customization over this, we'll go ahead and click the settings button right next to the scan button. When we're in here, we can define exactly what silence is. Over here, it's set to anything below negative 38 decibels for more than 140 milliseconds. So a full 0.14 seconds is enough to be defined as silence. That's say about that long. That's all that silence needs to be, and it needs to be below negative 38 decibels for it to be deleted completely. Of course, that's a bit too hectic. Define audio as signal above negative 34 decibels for more than 25 milliseconds will define exactly what audio is. Right below it, we can fix audio by deleting silence or shortening silence. We'll be choosing shortening silence. Then we'll set something like 100 milliseconds. So every silence that's longer than 140 milliseconds will be shortened to exactly 100. Simply click Find Levels to define exactly what silence is and audio is automatically on your file. Because of me recording with a physical gate, you can see signal below negative 76 decibels is defined as silence as it's basically dead quiet when the gate is active besides the little bit of electrical noise. Zooming out, let's go ahead and close the settings window and click scan once again. This time when it finishes the scan, you should see far fewer entries. As we've defined exactly what silence is, so fewer entries will be defined as silence. I'll click delete all and wait for the process to finish. There we go, it's not looking too jumbled up, and if I zoom in quite a bit, you can still see that there are small gaps and silences that games have on by default, it does of course cost some performance to blur things while you're looking around. This is a having this is far more natural than having absolutely no gap in between and having these little gaps over here where I breathe in or make noise instead of them being deleted is also important. That's kept because we adjusted the silence and audio detection settings over here. Because we adjusted these over here automatically, the negative 76 decibels is only really true silence compared to the little bits of breathing that would have been deleted before. It makes it a lot more natural. As for what settings I use, I'll switch across to my preset over here. These two settings up here aren't that important other than the for more than. I've adjusted the defined silence as anything longer than 400 milliseconds, it will be shortened to 100 milliseconds. It helps keep the flow quite a bit for me. As for everything else here, I basically clicked Find Levels, adjusted the silence for more than 400 milliseconds, and adjusted it to shorten to 100 milliseconds. Of course, there are other presets here, such as Keep Just the Fun Parts, Speed Up the Lecture, Trim Long Silent Pauses, and Trim Short Digital Dropouts. All of these will help you in different ways, and once you pick one of these, just make sure to click Find Levels once again for it to adjust to the piece of audio that you're currently editing. Besides that, we're basically done with this guide, and once we've run that through, we can go ahead and click Save to save the preset settings, and we can apply it to as many files as we want in between restarts, simply just by clicking the drop down and choosing it over here. But anyways, that's about it for this video. Thank you for watching, my name's been Techno, here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!